Chelsea, and I'm going to be talking about letter writing in the 19th century today. So here I have some paper that we made on site. And so what I've done is it started like this. So the difference is I cut the edges because um, it just looks a little neater. They were all about um, looking very neat and presentable during this time period. And I have a quill. And so these typically would have taken uh, from goose feathers, but any other bird that has a feather would also do as well. And they would kind of slice off the feathers down here and make a little notch so that your ink can go into the hollow part inside. And we have ink. And so this typically would have been made using lint black, which is taken from the soot of a fire. So you can just go into your chimney and kind of scrape it off. And gum arabic, which is sap from a tree that would have been mixed together. And that's how they would have made ink. So in order to start, I'm just going to dip my quill in to try to get some ink. And I'm going to start, I have a brother, so I'm going to start by saying my dearest brother. Later in that century, they switched to uh, pens. So they have a similar nib, which is this section right here, as to a quill, but it makes it a little bit easier, more uniform to write. Plus you can buy it instead of having to make it. So after I start my letter, it would have been formal. So even though I'm writing my brother, I am writing my dearest brother. There's always some sort of title, even someone who is your um, direct, like someone who's very close to you or a relative or something like that. Uh, everything was a lot more formal. I'm also writing cursive, which was how they would have written. Uh, also a lot more formal than what we would normally write today. And you might say something about the weather or something like that and go on. Um, I'm holding it at an angle, so about 45 degrees, which makes it kind of glide better. I'm having to dip my pen each time to try to get more ink. So there's only a limited amount. But say I've written all the way down here, I would get an envelope if it was after like around the Civil War period, uh, so the later half of the century, and put it in there, address it, and send it off. Uh, before then, you would fold it, fold your letter, and then you could use sealing wax. But around like the 1830s, 1840s, that started going very much out of style um, when envelopes started coming around. And they would have been sealed with some sort of glue instead of kind of our modern sticky method, you, know, you can just peel it off and send it. Uh, generally, you'd send these to the general store and pick it up, and the person receiving the letter would be the one who actually paid for it, instead of, um, you know, paying for a stamp and paying for the postage that way. Welcome to our last week of our at-home activity. Out of your box, you're going to need your container of black dye and your coffee stir. From home, you'll need a little cup of water a piece of paper, and something to stir the water into your black dye with. Now the black dye is permanent, so you wanna be really careful. So we're gonna add in the water. And then we're gonna carefully stir it up. If it ends up a little pasty, you might wanna add some more water and then you're going to take your coffee stirrer, you're going to use the um, pointed end of it, and you're going to dip it into the black dye, and then you can start writing. And it does take some practice to write with this. So this is not going to be my prettiest handwriting, and that's okay. And you will have to keep dipping it into the ink for it to write. You might not be able to get a whole word on there before you have to dip it again. And thank you for participating in our summer activity boxes.